G'day. Today we're doing a bit of work on an accelerator pedal position sensor. Now these play up from time to time. This one's from a, a uh, customer that's trying to get a roadworthy in. So he's, it keeps going into limp mode. So he's brought this in in the hope that we might be able to do something with it. At the moment he's having a lot of trouble trying to source one. What we're going to do is pull this cover off and have a look what's going on inside. Quite often it's just a problem with uh, contact. Um, as they work they wear out. So sometimes even if you just clean up the contacts or put a bit more tension on them it'll help improve the situation. We're just having a look making sure there's no pins that are bent or anything like that. And we'll just whiz off these five little bolts here. Now you can see there's a tiny little Torx. Not even sure what size that is, but that'll fit into these. And this one's out of a a VZ uh, Crewman, I think it is, with a 5.7 liter LS1. They go into plastic, so they do have a little bit of resistance there. You've got to make sure you press down hard into that little Torx hex there, or uh, you can do damage to it. And then it makes it more difficult to get it off. There we go. Very similar to a transmission inhibitor switch I believe correct me if I'm wrong on any of this information but you can see there are little strips here and you've got these little sweepers here that actually contact in different positions where that is it's a accelerator position sensor and you'll find you can see there's like tiny little wear marks there. It's got that black strip. I'm pretty sure that it shouldn't have a contact going through that black strip until it gets to these points here. So that, that's the issue. If we could put some sort of coating on that, we'd probably fix the problem. But the way we can see if that's working or not. I put I'm getting the camera here. So if I touch it up here where it doesn't look like it's worn, so there's no contact through there. But as I get closer to that worn bit We've got contact going through there. Same on these ones. That one doesn't look too bad. This one here, you can see it's worn right through. Oh. I knocked off that cable there. contact there as we get close to that worn bit there's a circuit there
but you get the idea so there's not much we can do with that unless we could uh, or someone could let me know how we could put a little thin coating here that would allow that to not be uh, or not have a circuit going through there only when those little sweepers and these little sweepers here touch on those points there so this one's basically buggered unless we could find a way to code it somehow and another reason why they probably wear out prematurely is because they're dry if they only used a bit of conductive grease or heat sink compound they call it that would have allowed those sweepers there to not wear it out prematurely or it would last a bit longer just for reference they work at 5 volts and if you read through that you'll find that there are three uh, positions where it actually operates off which you could see on that diagram if I scroll down it also says that the accelerator position pedal position and the TAC which is a throttle actuator control that's another little unit uh, so they work they are a complicated unit it works with that throttle actuator control box and also the TPS on your throttle body and that's what the TAC is the throttle actuator control box and that's got circuitry in there as well sometimes it's the pedal that's worn because that's the, the component that's actually moving and wearing out uh, not so much here unless you blow it uh, you put more than five volts through it somehow usually by incorrectly testing it with 12 volts that's how you blow them up and you'll find this information on a website called LS Engine DIY got a little bit of information there it's hard to find uh, specs on these sort of things the abbreviations APP accelerator pedal position PID uh, that's just basically a parameter ID code it's like your OBD code which is a, a generic code a PID is a vehicle and component specific code and that'll be for whatever vehicle you then you got your TAC if you if you see that TAC module, the th throttle actuator control module, TPS, throttle position sensor. If you don't know what the abbreviations are, it's a little bit hard to work out what they're on about. But this bit here, that's that shows you what happens at those three positions. And also another thing, those accelerator pedal position sensor or switch has got eight pins on it but only if you have a look at those little wires they uh, only have six points that are actually working the problem is getting a nice smooth finish there you could probably paint it with a bit of arrow dyed or something like that you want to make it nice and smooth and it's got to be a hard sort of uh, a cover there so the sweepers don't wear it out but definitely if they had a bit of grease in there it would have lasted a lot lot longer anyway I hope that helps any additional information would be very uh, well received you can see it's got the, those six points that I was telling you about one two three four five six so there's only out of all those eight points only six points are working and you can see the different positions that it gets uh, the three different readings from. 
So if he didn't use his accelerator, it would probably operate it all right. <laughs> but it would anything over quarter throttle, it goes in the limp mode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.